Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Hi, everyone. I'm currently at the lake here. This is Lake Chabot. So this is right, right at, I can't think of the name now, but basically San Leandro and Castro Valley, that was it. My brain spaced out there for a second. But basically I'm here and just walking, strolling along here. It's pretty warm today. It's warm July day here. And I've got this fruit cup. They had a fruit stand at the entrance to Lake Chabot Regional Park here. And there's a lake here. Let's see if I can show you. So there was a lot of people going by and some people with dogs, very beautiful dogs. I'm not good with the breeds, but they were like dash, dash hounds, dash hounds. I don't know how you really pronounce that one, but I believe that's what breed there. There was like three of them, each by different persons had them. Very beautiful dogs though. Well, all dogs really are beautiful, but I still got to kind of get out of my comfort zone, building up a sweat here, really kind of out of shape. So I just climbed up, there's an incline there, and just got to the crest of it, so now we're going down a bit. But yeah, let me show you again how beautiful this lake is. And I'm kind of at the top of this little crest here. I guess I'm about getting close to a mile into the trail. And this would be if you go to the left, because the trail splits right at the beginning of it. There's a park there, and the trail splits to the left and to the right. So a couple more people went by and I just wanted to show the other view of what I'm seeing basically here. So it's very beautiful. There's some kayakers out there on the lake. Very nice day. It's, it's quite warm today. It's, it might even be close to the 90s here. So we're in the San Leandro Castro Valley area. This is kind of nestled in between uh, at the crest of these hills. There's some hills right behind San Leandro and you go like you're going to Castro Valley and it's right there nestled right in the middle basically. So this trail that I'm walking on at the lake, it's nine miles long if you do the trail that goes around the lake. So it's very, very beautiful. And it's actually, as you can see, it's sunny, no clouds. Not today, quite warm, close to 90 I think. I didn't really check the temperature, but it's gotta be up there. But yeah, I've got my fruit cup. This, there was a stand, and there usually when I come here, there's a stand at the very entrance when you first walk into the park. Or I guess if you park inside, there's a parking lot inside you can drive in. But then you can also, you can usually find a spot on the street. Sometimes in the busier days, it's a little diff more difficult, but there you can park for free. Otherwise, if you go into the parking lot in the park, it's $5 per visit. Uh, people, also go here to fish so there's ki kayak kayaks there's there's like other boats that they have there's a little marina as you kind of come in as the trails split off before they split off actually after they split off there's because earlier on there's actually a little park area when you first come in next to the parking lot and then there's a little bit of trail some restrooms on the left if you keep going that way you'll go down the left-hand side trail which goes along the left side of the lake which comes up to the there's a dam up here actually because this used to be a reservoir long time ago decades and decades ago used to actually supply water for this part of the Bay Area San Leandro and Hayward I believe by the way these fruit cups this was eight dollars and they have also toppings if you want them like different like spicy toppings and stuff and I just gave her a 10 and said well, you could keep the change because it's always nice just to help them out and they're, they're kind of just like a little small business there so you can see the lake is. So at times we're along the trail, the trail gets closer to it and it also gets steeper and then it gets much closer so it's not right along the lake exactly the same distance from the lake the whole way. It definitely varies even fair, fairly quite a bit. So we're kind of gaining a bit bit of uphill here. And there's a lot more trees now obscuring, but 
yeah, beautiful. And you can see the lake just goes on. There's a little boat out in the distance there. I don't know how well you can see it, but I just wanted to do this vlog today. I haven't vlogged. I've been here several times to this lake since I first started going. It was about, I guess, somewhere last year that I started going. Not, not even a year ago. So, as you can see, we just made it. They have these mile markers, or half mile markers, because they're every half mile. And also, I could show you if you were to go the other way, it works both ways. One mile going this way, so we're one mile in. And if you were going the opposite direction, go if you were to go to the right when the trail splits before you really get in here, go to the right side of the lake, then it works both ways. So that's actually really good that they thought of that. So whichever, whichever side you decide to do, right or left, they, it, they accommodate you. <laughs> so yeah, very beautiful, very peaceful. They have these almost like some erosion going on. You can see the roots of these trees kind of coming off, off here of this land. Like they've probably had some sort of collapses going on before, sort of some erosion like landslides, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It's a little hard to hold this thing for this long, but, and I also like to enjoy my brew cup. So I'm not going to talk to you all for too much longer. And I also say it's good to bring a water bottle I've got this Brita one that has a filter in it, so you can put tap water in or whatever, and it'll filter it. Having this water here, with that, I will say, when you come here, always bring a water bottle or something so that you can stay hydrated, because there's there's no stations or anything along the trail. There's really nothing to... They do, as you enter the park, when you're still in the, in the grassy, before you actually get to the lake, they do have a refill station, so they have like a spigot. You can refill your water bottles at there. But from what I understand, from what I know, there are no locations along the trail. Don't, I'm not going to say for certain because I haven't walked the whole trail. I've actually only walked maybe two and a half miles of it up to the dam or so. If that's about that, I think that's about two miles or two and a half miles to get there. But it is deceptive. When you come in here, you're like, oh, it's about to, to reach the end of this. No, it just keeps going on. It's, it's, it's a, kind of a skinny, in a sense, at times skinny and a long lake and of course it actually is not natural this didn't used to be here about 100 and some odd 120 years or there's actually they have a little historical plaque up here or a info board where you can see see what the history of the park was and it's named after this guy Anthony Chabot I don't remember much about it because I did read it a few times but yeah it's a, it's a lot of history there it's interesting how it used to actually supply water and they do have a reservoir that's not not that far from here a little further to the east northeast i believe that's much bigger than this that does supply water still but this one it's decommissioned it no longer so i guess even though it's man-made it kind of serves at this point more of as a just a natural habitat for wildlife and i haven't seen any deers here but i've seen lizards i've seen wasps bees all sorts of insects. So pretty much I'll wrap that up as far as the lake is concerned. I'll keep walking here for a bit longer. This will be another one of my, as I call them, walk and talk vlogs. So not sure if I'm going to keep with that nomenclature and stick with it as far as what it's going to show up as on YouTube. But I do want to keep these types of things up at least once or so a week. And I think that's a good, a good frame so, other thing I wanted to say is just that y'all are loved, doesn't matter where you're from or who you are, that you are loved and, you, and your lives matter, and, you, and people do care about you, and I believe in God, and I'm a Christian, I don't exactly hold to any specific denomination, but I do believe in God, I do go to church, and... I'll say that regardless of what you believe in, whether you're atheist, Catholic, Christian, Buddhism, Muslim, whatever you are, that you are loved and God loves you regardless because he doesn't judge in the same way that we do. But I'll say, aside from that, that it's really up to him to make the judge. We're not the ones to judge. You know, he put us in this world. He didn't put us here to judge one another, so... That's the beauty, beautiful thing.
And I'm very self-conscious still about just kind of vlogging around people and talking to the phone here. I'm just using my Pixel 6 Pro. It's a Google Pixel 6 Pro. Pretty good at filming. I've heard iPhones supposedly are the best smartphones to use to record. But I'm using my Pixel. This seems pretty good so far. And yeah, just again, very beautiful here. And so this is a nine mile, like I was saying, nine miles in total. If you do the trail that goes, that does the loop around the lake, it's a pretty big lake, lake too. And it's, it's actually kind of deceptive if you're here for the first time. When I came here for the first time, it, the trail kind of winds around this crest going at times closer, a little closer to the lake. And it's deceptive because then you turn the corner and there's more lake. And you think, oh, I thought it was almost the end of it. But nope, it, it goes on further. It's very long. So I just had to take a little breather there to eat some of my fruit and drink some more water here. Got to stay hydrated. So I can't reiterate that enough. I think it's important to keep that in mind. Keep it important to have it repeated. Stay hydrated, everyone. Because if you're out on things like this, little hikes and stuff, can get dehydrated, especially on a hot day, a sunny day, and you're in the sun some. Now, thankfully, there's a lot of shade here. But it can't happen. Now back to what I was saying, that there's basically that you're loved no matter what, no matter what you are. And as I've learned in church and learned from, haven't been reading the Bible that much, but I'm trying to get more and more into it. Still haven't got very far at all, but trying to get through it. But I've learned that no matter what you do here on earth, as far as whether you're good or whether you're bad, that God still loves you and that Jesus paid our debts, paid for our sin. Now, that's not to say that gives you a write-off or an excuse. Oh, I can just do this and he'll forgive everything I did. So I can just sin freely and I don't have to worry. Now, I don't think that's, that's really what the message is there. It's to say that that's very much the reason we should do the best because Jesus paid our debt for us. And we really owe it to him to to do what we can to be the best versions of ourselves that we can on this earth. And I also say that be yourself. Don't feel like you have to hide by hide behind a facade, something that is not truly who you feel like you need to be. So be yourself, be true to yourself, what your gut feeling tells you. And don't don't feel like the way the world is that you have to follow suit with what everyone else is doing. If that's, if that's exactly what they're doing, if they're doing something and you don't agree with it, you don't believe in it, even if the whole world almost is doing it, then do what your heart tells you to do. And I believe that's truly what God wants you to do is what, there's that gut feeling, that thing like, well, you know that if you're about to do something, this is what I need to do, or this is, this doesn't feel right. I should not be doing this. So really trust that and don't, don't just go against that. Because that's really what I think, believe, that God's telling you, you know, listen to that. Because that's what he, those are the in instincts, wisdom that he puts in all of us, that he includes in every one of us to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. So I would say follow your dreams. If you have dreams, if you have something that it's like, you're just, this, you know it's something you've got to do and it's, you believe in it, then do it. You know, do your best to try and make it happen. Follow your dreams. Because that's really what matters. You're here on this earth and God puts you here for a reason. It's not a coincidence that you exist. That all of us exist, that this is all is here. I, I know, and I've talked to, so I'm not going to go into detail, but I talked to a friend and it's like, well, everything's a coincidence unless it's really like ironic or something or something that's just so out of the, the blue. But it's like, to me, I believe that it's really fate. It's really destiny. Because if it wasn't meant to happen, then it wouldn't have happened. And I know there's a lot of turmoil in this world. Oh, I'm just going to make a little pit stop. I'm pretty much almost to the dam up here. It's just a short distance ahead. And they have this little stop here where you can see this, these historical boards. They have, have information about how this, this place came to be. How the lake formed. How they built it. And they have a dam, and that's how they control the water. That's how they really did it. So I'll turn this around, just give you a glimpse of that. But very beautiful here. There's also a couple of plaques over there. This little offshoot here, and then just only maybe a few hundred yards or less is the dam in the distance. 
So there's the rest of the lake there, and the dam is pretty much right behind some of those trees. It's very hard to see from here, but there's a little fencing sticking out on top. And then here is this little offshoot. Very hard to see it, being with the, the shade from these trees mixing with the sunlight on it. It makes it a little hard to read, hard to see. But this is saying how they got the water here, basically, and how, the ton how there was tunnels that were built and hydraulics, hydraulic type stuff going on. And this, of course, is East Bay Regional Parks District. This is what they, it's basically there under their jurisdiction. And then we've got to build a dam. So this says how they built it, just so they, have, they had a lot of Chinese workers here that pretty much 90% or a lot of Chinese workers that ended up coming in and laborers that ended up dredging out this land to form the, form the reservoir here. So... And they actually, they shows how they used horses to compact the soil to make it suitable for, to hold water. So very interesting, actually. So it's hard for you guys to see it. It's even hard for me to see it with the shadows and stuff. I'll just go over here briefly. These are some plaques. These are easier to see because they don't have the trees mixing in there with the sunlight. And this is just a plaque. And built by Anthony Chabot. He actually started the Contra Costa Water Company, East Bay Mud. And there's another plaque here. So this is actually a historic landmark. Pretty neat, huh? I just want to show you here, here we're coming up to the dam itself, and actually the trail passes right over it. Yeah, a lot of nature here. There's birds here as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. And seeing quite a few birds and geese and yeah, very beautiful, very serene. The sounds are very peaceful. So you can see here, coming right up here and it goes on. Now this is pretty much where I've ended. I haven't walked further down. And then you can see the lake there and yeah, and you can see they haven't gated off. It's actually the property of East Bay Mud still. But yeah, the trail goes on. I'm gonna turn around. But if you were to keep going, you could either go, I believe, to the right again, and it'll just encircle the lake pretty much. Or there's another trail that offshoots, apparently, and it goes even further up kind of the hills over here. So I don't know how many miles of trails there are, but there must be hundreds and hundreds just in this very general area here of this national park basically, well, regional park, not like a full national park, but it's still a park. It still counts for something. <laughs> I'm not going to belittle it because it's definitely still significant in its own ways. Well, I might have to kind of end it here, but please don't be offended by what I was saying about the religion, because I believe it's really, when I think of it, and I, the message is not to think of it in, in a religious aspect to put that label on it. It's just about love and about the purpose here in life for anyone regardless of what your beliefs are so please don't take offense to that because that's not what my intention is my intention is love so with that I just wanted to wrap that up by saying that whatever your dreams are go for it give it a shot and if, if you stumble along the way and you will because it happens to all of us even the best of us no one's perfect and that's all right because through those mistakes, through those failures, you have successes. That's how you get better. That's how you learn and improve and overcome challenges. And that's just a part of life. And it really doesn't have to be such a bad part. It's really be quite beautiful. Go for your dreams again. And now I will just add that as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting other people and actually causing harm, to people or to yourself or to or to the beautiful planet that God made for us he didn't make it for us to destroy so let's do our best to take care of it you know and and live by that so as long as you're fitting within the within the threshold of doing what is right and just and and beautiful peaceful prosperous then go for your dreams and don't give up so that's my lasting message here at the end of this video and I will say I know some youtubers said 
Oh, got a little bug. There's a lot of, lot of bugs around here, flying creatures. <laughs> They're peaceful. But I heard some YouTubers say that they, they think it's weird that YouTubers, other YouTubers would say in their videos or at the end, oh, like, I love y'all and I love you guys. Or I don't think it's weird because, you know, I really do love y'all. I love everyone. I think we all need to show and share love. And there's nothing wrong with that. And, and maybe if it's weird to some people, that's fine. That's completely fine. I'm just going to wrap this up. As you can tell already, and probably told at the beginning of the video, that I'm pretty out of shape. I'm trying to get out here more and get walking more, but I am definitely out of shape. Uh, I have a few critters that keep, I think they're trying to get my fruit here. I still, I, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up so I don't have so many critters, but that's fine. They're, they're not really bothering me. They're just kind of getting in my face here. Uh, that's not bothering me. I don't know what is. No, but anyway... Basically, I just want to say if you got to this this part of the video, thank you all so much for watching and please show show me some support and cuz that's going to be what really inspires me to keep doing these videos and I'm pretty still really new here on YouTube, but anyone who comes across me, you know, share share this video. You know, I know that a lot of these messages kind of blend together and there a lot of people say basically the same message, but I feel like I've got to just say it and I think it needs to be reiterated and people say like oh you keep repeating I have friends and family they're like you repeat yourself a lot do you know you repeat yourself and I'm like yeah I know but depending on what it is it needs to be repeated we need to hear it you know to ourselves speak it to ourselves and to other people because people do need to hear the message over and over again to really keep that in mind to know that well okay this is what we're going for and I don't think there's anything wrong with hearing the same message constantly you know it's it's a good thing so just keep that in mind not to try and keep an open mind do your best it's it's hard you know i understand that but again thank you all for watching and again if you can show me the love and support and please be kind enough to subscribe leave a comment if you like to leave a comment like this video please like this video and give me some some support bring my video up higher in the recommendations it's going to be very very low so but anyone who comes across this thank you for taking the time out of your day to to watch this video i really really appreciate it and again it's you're welcome to do all these things i just said subscribe comment like the video and once you subscribe if you don't mind pressing the notification bell there next to it next to the subscribe button just so that any future videos I put, you won't miss them, that you'll get recommended. But if you don't like to do that, that's fine. Whatever your preferences are, I still appreciate y'all, and I'm still, I, I still thank y'all for taking your time out of your day to just be here with me. So with that, I'll just say you all are loved, and I love y'all, and have a wonderful time wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing. Stay safe, take care y'all, and I'll be back for another video here pretty shortly, so stay tuned. Thank you.